What is going on guys? Thank you for joining one more time to another one of my tutorials here at Creative Worship Sounds. What I want to do today is I want to show you how to import my patches into different concerts. Let's say one of your own concerts or somebody else's concert. Uh, so this tutorial is going to be simple, fast and easy. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it so we don't take any more of your time. But let's say this is one of the songs you purchased from our website. Build My Life is a great song. Uh, if you want to check it out more into detail, you can go to the website. And on the search bar, just type in Build My Life and the patch is going to be there. This song here, I'm just going to go through two of the sounds. I have some pads on the left side. And uh, got a few other sounds on the right. Now, one of the things I get sometimes is that uh, my patch is not working on my concert and stuff like that. And the reason for that is because uh, some of these patches, whenever you get them, they're going to have bus uh, or send, send out settings, uh, which are going to be here on this side. So if you don't import those into your own uh, sessions, into your own concerts, then it's not going to sound the same. Also, uh, sometimes you are missing some of the additional content. I have a section in my website where I have a tutorial on how to install additional content and stuff like that. So that's something else. But uh, for the main part, um, if you're importing one of my own patches into your own concerts, then this is something you're gonna wanna do. Um, the easiest thing to do right now if you let's say you just opened this patch and uh, this is what it looks like uh, you can do one thing you can click right here and then go to save as patch and then save the patch on whatever you know folder you save it at and I'm not gonna do that because I already have it saved but you'll do that uh, other thing you can do is you can click and drag into your desktop and then open your um, concert and then drag it back into your concert now that is not it there is one more thing you have to do and that is you have to make sure you save let me make this smaller so you can see what I'm talking about <laughs> so you have to make sure uh, you save the sense this buzz outs right here on this side so you see number three 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 there's an eight and there's a five. So three, eight, and five. Those three, you have to save them and then recall them in your concert. So that way uh, my patches sound the way they have to sound. Uh, like I said, these are effects. So if you remove some of these effects, of course it's gonna affect the way the patch sounds. So what you have to do, first look for the number that is on the patch, on, on the send out, I'm sorry. Uh, so this is number three so right here we're gonna go and search for number three and as you can see three is right here i already have that one named to shimmer pad senior to shimmer effects now you can name it to whatever you want so or you can rename it to this as well uh the way to do that is to click on this and then do save as channel strip setting and then within this section here uh, you can rename it to whatever you want to name it to so shimmer effects one or you can do bus three bus three shimmers we're just gonna save it for now uh, I'm gonna create a new folder so I don't get confused with my stuff so tutorial tuto settings tutorial bus settings just for now uh, and I'm gonna save that one there bus three shimmers next one was five and at number eight so look for number five is right here it's another shimmer it sounds different than the other one so we're just gonna rename that one save as channel strip settings save it on 
for myself in both tutorial settings and then we're gonna do uh, bus 5 shimmer number 2 and the last one was 8 this is the dream hall uh, so that one you can save it as we'll do bus 8 dream hall and that'll help you uh, put these ones in the order they go uh, so that'll be the next step to do once you save them you're gonna go ahead and close my concert and we're gonna open we're just gonna say one of these basic um, main stage presets we're gonna say one of these is yours so we're just gonna open this one this one has no no buses here but the ones that came with this preset and we're just gonna swap those so we're gonna go here you need three of those so as a matter of fact we're gonna import the patch first and then we're gonna do that so like I said, if you dragged and dropped into your desktop, now you're gonna find it. So here it is, build my life. And we're gonna click and drag into this concert. And we're just, remember, this is an example of another concert. So now that it's here, you can see that there's the three. There's the three, there's the eight and then there's there's the five and they're all missing right here so the three is there just because for whatever reason but it's not the same one eight is there five is there but there's no plugins here so what you want to do is you want to recall them all so we can click on this here drop down menu and then go to user settings find your settings i save them under the tutorial bus settings and that was for number three so that's why i named it three bus three shimmers and that makes it a lot easier if you're a beginner in this and uh i mean it's basically right there bus three then we say that as bus three shimmers so we'll do that now we're gonna look for the eight so this one says eight we're gonna go to settings go to your user channel strip settings in this case tutorial bus settings and then five right there was it five? Oh, that was eight. Okay, I almost got confused. So we go here and then we do the bus eight and then the five. So we go here, channel, whoops, yep, uh, and then choose the five. So now there we go. Now we have them there and it's gonna sound exactly the same way as mine sounds like. Uh, if for any reason, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this real quick um, it still doesn't sound the same way then you must be missing some additional sounds so what we're gonna go is we're gonna go to main stage 3 up here on the left top corner uh, make that menu drop down click it it drops down you go to sound libraries and then go to uh, sometimes you're gonna have to do the download essential sounds or something we're just gonna open sound library manager and you want to make sure I have all of them installed but you want to make sure for sure for sure you have the legacy and compatibility compatibility installed so if you don't have this one installed you're gonna select that they're all gonna be uh, pre-selected and then you're gonna click install I would recommend you to install those I would recommend you to install the reverbs uh, the pianos the orchestra and uh, it's all up to you. Alchemy, sound libraries, definitely need to get that. Uh, some of my sounds and libraries uh, include some of these sounds in there. So also the essential sound libraries, uh, it's a good one. Uh, anything else is just if you wanna use additional extra sounds. But uh, if you want my sounds to work with uh, your computer, my patches, I'm sorry, not my sounds, my patches, then I recommend you to download those for sure so you don't go through these problems. Um, once you do that, it's gonna ask you to, uh, once the library install, install, ins 
once the library finishes installing it's going to require the password and stuff like that i recommend that after you do all that you restart your computer turn it back on and then uh open the original uh download link that i sent out uh, when you purchase whatever it is that you did purchase so that's pretty much it for the tutorial if you have any more questions uh, leave them on the section below and for any other patches just send us emails request any stuff like that remember we do patch request uh, and that should do it hope you like the tutorial and have a great day